talking to a, a coin dealer in the Midwestern state, and um, he was kind enough to answer some of my uh, questions. And I mentioned to him that, that in this area, which is a metro area of about 4 million people, uh, not 4 million, I'm sorry, a million people, that there's only like, what would you say, like four or five, five, um, coin, five dealers. coin dealers in this whole area mm -hmm. to serve over a million people? Yep. It's, it, not, right. it's not much, you know, and um, uh, that's, um, to me, that's, that, I guess you're, you're pushed to your maximum as far as being busy, right? Sometimes. Sometimes? Yes. Let me ask you this. Um, um, since you opened, and you opened, well, I'm not going to say when, but have you seen business increase? Every day. Every, every week, I would say. Every week has yes. been an increase. Yeah. New okay. customers every day. W would you say, now this is a Midwestern state here, would you say people in this area are savvy to precious metals? Oh, absolutely. You think they are? A lot of them are. They're, you know, on in general, on whole, on the whole, John Q. Public doesn't fully understand mm -hmm. silver and gold, but there are a lot of savvy people in this area who really know their stuff. Right. Yes. Right. And there's you see more of them coming in. All you know, I, I had a um, thought this morning. You know, discussing things, people on YouTube that um. You know, so I've heard people say things like, um, you know, it's patriotic to buy silver. And I thought, well, that's, that's kind of stupid because that's, um, you're just trying to make money or whatever. But then I realized um, precious metals is, in a way, kind of an alternative money. Yes. And um, certain powers to be do not want, really don't like a competition to money. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why some people think that there's been an effort to, um, manipulate silver prices and um, that's one reason among several reasons um, so that's what I kind of I wouldn't call it patriotic but I say for some people who are um, kind of upset with the government it may be a, you know you're you're putting your assets and you know you're not getting that debt note yeah uh, um, the last thing I wanted to ask you um, was basically, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. Um, are you having a hard time getting silver? Uh, we get a lot of our silver from the public. Uh -huh. And we do have people come in and sell. We have had, in the last mm -hmm. month or so, a lot of people have come in and sold. Okay, what about like the 2011 Eagles? Those have been difficult to get. Really difficult. difficult to get. And there's a really high premium, in my opinion, high premium on those uh, right now. Right, right. So they're tough to come by. Okay, do you have one for me today? No. <laughs> <laughs> no I've got some coming in Wednesday. Okay, well, Jim, I, sorry, I appreciate you. I didn't uh -huh. mean, mean, mean to mention your name, but there's That's okay. a lot of Jim. I appreciate um, you taking the time with me here. Sure. And um, it'll be a big interest to a lot of people. Okay. Thanks, Jim.